Hey there, Blues Guitar Lab fam. Remember Satoshi's slide guitar adventure? Last time, he dipped his toes into the waters of open D tuning and those cool open chord shapes. But he hit a bit of a snag when it came to setting up his guitar for slide play. So, what's the latest update? Let's jump right in. Originally, Satoshi started off with his electric guitar, but soon he felt the magnetic pull of the acoustic for that classic slide sound. So he tweaked some settings, giving the neck a slight curve to ensure the slide bar hugged those strings just right. He even swapped out his strings for a thicker set, the 012S. From our last chat, you know there's this whole art to setting up the guitar so when you're rocking that slide bar on the first string, you don't graze the neck. And voila, now Satoshi's guitar is primed and ready for that slide action. His first lesson, nailing single notes on the first string. Here's a pro tip, slightly tilt the slide bar. Oh, and Satoshi decided on using his pinky for the slide after some back and forth. Initially, he leaned towards the ring finger, but a wise old master recommended the pinky to free up the other digits. Hey, always trust the master, right? Now let's talk technique. You've got to get the slide bar right over the fret. Unlike traditional playing, it's a game of precision. Once you hit your note, spice it up with some vibrato. It's the slide guitar's signature move. And here's another trick. Mute unwanted string noise from the neck side using your spare fingers. Oh, and if you're playing in open D tuning, resist the urge to mute every string with your right hand. Let some of those strings sing. Satoshi, for one, likes resting his thumb on the second string, helps stabilize his picking. Ready to up the ante? How about exploring the full range of that first string? Next up, Satoshi dabbled in staccato. That's playing those notes sharp and snappy. The trick? Mute the string immediately after striking it, mainly using the index finger. Otherwise, you'll get that open string ringing. Slide hammer-ons and pull-offs were also on the menu. For pull-offs, just lift the slide off the string. Simple. Hammer-ons? Position that slide right on the fret, but avoid slamming it against the fretboard. Satoshi then jammed to a pattern, blending slide notes on the first string with open string tones. And here's a challenge. Try covering all the strings with the slide. Boy, it's a workout! Especially ensuring all strings resonate while managing to avoid any pesky unwanted noise. Satoshi's still perfecting this one. Woo. That's a wrap for today. It might seem like Satoshi's moving at a snail's pace, but hey, every little step counts, right? Stay with us for more of his slide guitar escapades. Oh, before you head off, did you know we're offering free memberships? Get access to the first chapter of our in-depth blues guitar course, hand-picked blues vocab videos, music theory insights tailored for blues fans, and an ocean of blues guitar resources. Plus, dive into our Blues Guitar Lab community, the ultimate hub for blues lovers like you. And here's the cherry on top. Weekly Blues Guitar Lab roundups to keep you in the groove. All this for zero bucks forever. Don't miss this chance. Elevate your blues game with our goodies. Until next time, keep those strings humming and let the blues flow.